Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to take a quick look at XSplit VCam. Um, I was just reminded about this video because I had a buddy of mine um, trying to get it to work in his Streamlabs OBS and he was like, hey, how do I uh, get this to show up? So um, I want to go ahead and get this made real quick. It's it's going to be a pretty short video. So if you're using XSplit VCam and Streamlabs OBS um, or really any um, broadcasters like XSplit uh, Gamecaster or XSplit Broadcaster, uh, it's going to be the same thing. So once you have XSplit VCam uh, on your computer and you've got everything up and running, you um, you go in here and you've got options like uh, original. So this is going to be um, just your uh, normal background behind you. You can do remove, uh, which will show a checkerboard here, which is kind of like your green screen. So you'll just see your game or your screen or, or whatever you have back there. And then you can pick any any picture that you want or uh, any preloaded pictures that they have. And a new feature they recently added was uh, the ability to have a YouTube uh, video. So you can, you can click on that and you can type in a YouTube URL and you can add that. And what that'll do is put you that YouTube video in here. You can click on that and it'll automatically start to play. Kind of cool if you're uh, making a certain type of video where you want something like that playing behind you or maybe you want one of your older uh, videos playing behind you or you're reviewing something, uh, whatever the case may be, um, that's a pretty cool option uh, to have there. So um, besides that, we can go into the little gear here for settings and this is your actual webcam properties. So like your brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, your gain, um, your zoom, focus, pan tilt, low light compensation, all that kind of stuff is going to be right in here. Over in um, your normal VCAM settings, click right there and click show settings. And then first you're going to have your hardware acceleration. So it says uh, VCAM prefers a GPU to perform its magic. When more GPUs are available, uh, automatic mode tries to adaptively select the GPU least used by the system. So obviously most people don't have more than one GPU. Uh, some people do, and that's fine. It'll automatically default to whichever one's being used less. Um, but for those of us who are running a single GPU, it's still going to be more dependent upon resources. So um, automatic for me runs my RTX 2060, and that's fine. Um, for you, it may be your CPU that's better, but honestly, most of the time it's going to be your GPU um, that's going to handle this better for you. Your quality controls. So uh, I'll go down through here and show you kind of the difference. There's not a big difference difference uh, once you get up to high, but if we click down here to low, um, you're going to see the headphones uh, start to kind of disappear and, and blur out. You'll see the strap up top going away and things like that. If we click up to standard, you're going to get similar. I don't, there's really not a lot of difference. You can see it's, it's cutting out the top a little bit better sometimes, but uh, not, not now. If, once we go to high, you're going to see the headphones fill in. You're going to see a little bit sharper on the cutout and we'll go to highest. And then you're just going to get, let it load up. You'll get slightly cleaner, but there's, there again, like low and standard don't have a lot of difference. Um, high and highest don't have a ton of difference. Um, you've also got remove chair. So I don't know if I can get to show the, the chair or not. It doesn't usually um, show up anyways. Um, there it is. You can kind of see the chair popping in and out. So if we just remove chair, um, you won't get that. Um, click the chair coming in and out of the background. If you had a green screen, it'd be different. Uh, but with this, it really just better not to have the chair because it kind of flickers in and out uh, depending on how close you are and if you move around a lot or you're getting up. Um, but removing it works pretty well. I don't think I've ever really seen a chair pop up when I have that on. So that pretty much covers your, uh, your typical settings in here. So no matter what background you have uh, for your VCAM, you can always blur. You'll always have a slider bar down here. So you can always blur out your background if you, if you want to do that. So that's, uh, that's easy. So once you have VCAM all set up here and you've got all your options how you want them, you go over into your uh, Streamlabs OBS 
and um, assuming you've already got your scene set up and your video capture set up and your uh, webcam is streaming uh, to wherever you have it set up you're just going to want to click on your video capture you're going to want to right click and you're going to want to go to properties and then right here at device this is probably setting on whatever the name of your camera is that it's picking up on unless you have changed that before so what you're going to want to do is go down choose your XSplit VCAM as your device alright and then you have options down here you can set up your uh, 1080p 30, 720p 60 uh, you could do 720p 30 also if you wanted to um, so that's that's good for that C in here you'll have uh, match the output 60, 50, 30 whatever you want to do for for your frame so most of the time I'm, I, I use 720p uh, 60 FPS sometimes I, I uh, go 1080p 30 if I'm gonna be blown up um, using it uh, taking up more of, of the screen but once you have all that set up you'll click done and you'll you'll get it, everything showing up in here um, if it doesn't show up right away close vcam close streamlabs <clears throat> and then open streamlabs and vcam should uh, open it won't it won't open up like this it'll open up down in your uh, down in your tray um, you can always click on it down in your tray um, like if I close this uh, you can't see it because my face is in the way but if I go down here and click on vcam boom it'll pop right up and uh, in the middle of recording or streaming whatever you're doing you can click in here and you can make changes remove background so we won't uh, <clears throat> you won't see anything there and um, you can make whatever changes you want to in there on the fly and you shouldn't have any problems we should be able to start the YouTube video behind us so uh, really whatever you're wanting and, and once you're good to go you can minimize that back down to the tray all right so I think that really about covers it that's how you set up and uh, change the settings in your XSplit VCAM uh, that's how you get uh, XSplit VCAM as a device to show up for your uh, webcam in Streamlabs OBS as always thanks for coming and checking out the video I hope this was helpful uh, click subscribe if you haven't already and um, we've got some benchmarks coming out over the next uh, week or two and we've got a monthly Xbox Game Pass uh, video that we're going to be starting to put out and I'm always checking um, all of the PC launchers, all of the game sales, Origin, Steam, Uplay, you know, everything. Uh, I check those every day to see if there's any changes, and I, uh, I usually make a quick video and get those up right away uh, just to help keep track of game sales, new releases, Game Pass drops, um, anything in eShop, PlayStation Store, anything that I can keep up with there for, for everybody and, and get a video out. So, all right, thanks again for checking out the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.